All right, yes, we do have Jennifer Colson here with Cold World Banker, but she's also a part-time host here on TV. Good to see you. <laughs> Great to I see like you. I like your glasses. Thank you. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know. You got a little bit of green and on, we too. We're nice blending, and we didn't even make a plan last I night. I know. We usually make a plan at I night know. before when we host together, but it's so fun to be here, and for a different reason than just um, helping with TV8, or my fabulous friends here. I also work full-time as a real estate agent with Coldwell Banker, and what a great time to be an owner of property in the mountains. Well, and Jen, I was thinking about this because I have a lot of friends that are here this week for Florida Spring Break, Texas Spring Break, and I've watched some of their kids grow up. They're about 14 or 12. They're 10 years old right now. They came as little babies. They entered into ski school. Now they're skiing the back poles. And when you come and you find a place that you return to year after year, you start thinking like, ah, oh, you know what? Maybe we should invest in some property. It's so true. And what's interesting is, you know, we're so centrally located for all those places. And we have feeder markets. Our big ones are New York, Texas, Florida, but certainly people are coming from all over the country, obviously the world as well. But when we come, I'm from Kansas City, so I grew up on I-70, kind of making yeah. the truck back and forth, an easy drive. It is really easy to get here for most people. Denver's such a central hub, everybody flies there now. And to get here, cakewalk. Yeah. So if you're coming all the time, and you're coming to a place that's so easy to rent, why not buy a piece of property or a condo or a house or something where then you can come back year after year and have your own stuff and probably make a little money off of it. Yes, and you know what, mentioning um, the renting and having your storage, mm -hmm. that's the big thing. When you think about lugging helmets, ski boots, snowboards, everything, if you have a place to keep it. And also, there's so many variables in travel anyway. Why not know that where you're staying exactly. is exactly the way you left it the last time? Exactly, and I think there's also something to be said for then going on that adventure to find the place that's perfect for yeah. you. And what we see a lot of times is people say, okay, you know, I've been coming out and staying in a hotel well when you start doing the numbers of what it costs you especially if you have more than just you know a couple coming but you have children or your parents multi-generations a lot of times in the ski communities we see people traveling with you know up to three generations the grandparents yes. the kids and the the grandkids and you start talking about gaining numbers of bedrooms and how much it's gonna cost to be there and eat out it's really nice to have a kitchen sometimes and have those things so when people start a lot of times they start small oh I just want a condo two-bedroom condo the kids are little, we'll be able to do it. And then we see them move to a townhouse, and then they move to a duplex, and then they say, you know, we love being right in Vail Village, but the boys play football now, we're coming out in the summer. You know, the summer is such an amazing yes. thing, our big, our big slogan out here. You come for the winter, then you stay for the summer. And that is, you know, it's so amazing here year-round, and to be able to come, and people say, Maybe I need a little bit of a yard. Well, when you figure you could have a beautiful two-bedroom condo in the village, or you could have a five-bedroom house in Cordillera on a couple acres, all of a sudden your options yes. start opening up. And I think a lot of times people don't even realize all the options there are in the valley. All right, yes, and we can continue that journey. We can discover with you. We can find out more. How can we find you today? Please log on to my website, searchandvale.com. You can call me directly at 970-331-9011 or stop by and visit me or any of the agents on our Bridge Street office, Coldwell Banker. We're right above Patagonia, kitty corner from Pepe's, right across the street from Gorsuch on Bridge Street, 286 Bridge Street, and we'll look forward to seeing you there. Okay, all right, thanks, Jen. Jennifer Coulson here from Coldwell Banker. You can check out the website once again at searchandveil.com. We have a giveaway coming up and much more. Stay tuned.